He's happy to be labelled provocative, a mischief maker, even a total pest. But Drew Pavlou won't cop being called a terrorist. Yet that's the reason he is currently under investigation by British police. The Australian human rights activist was arrested last month when the Chinese embassy in London claimed he'd sent them a bomb threat. Drew says the accusation is simply untrue and deeply offensive. He insists he's been set up by China, and it's not for the first time. Most young Aussies spending summer in London are having the time of their life, but not Drew Pavlou. My life has been hell the past couple of weeks. I've never faced such a tougher time in my life. Some sort of incident taking place. It all started last month when Drew was kicked out of Wimbledon for yelling and holding up a sign supporting missing Chinese tennis star Peng Shui. Two weeks later came a plan for what turned into an even more provocative protest. Dangerously, he decided to play with fire right outside China's embassy. I wanted to glue the Taiwan flag to the gate. The security guard, like, ripped the flag out of my hands and I was already there, so I was like, OK, I'm going to put glue on my hand and just stick there and just sit there and just start talking about the Uyghur genocide. They called the police. The security guard was yelling to the walkie-talkie, the embassy's under attack, and I thought, oh, this is bizarre. I said to him, this is a peaceful protest, and he's yelling, embassy's under attack. The 23-year-old was shocked to be taken in handcuffs to Charing Cross Police Station and detained for 20 hours. When he found out why, he was in total disbelief. They said, We've, we took a report from the Chinese embassy this morning. There's been a bomb threat. Your name was all over the email. How do you even respond to something like that? My heart sank and I told the police officer who arrested me, I've been set up. I've been set up by the Chinese government. And he was like, sure, mate. And I'm the Pope. Did the email even come from your own personal account? No, someone created a whole new email designed to look like my real email. It was something along the lines of, hi, this is Drew Pavlou. I'm supporting my Uyghur brothers and sisters against the, the Nazi Chinese government. You have until 12 p.m. to stop the Uyghur genocide or I blow up the embassy with a bomb, regards Drew. So it's kind of the equivalent of me just setting up an account saying drewpavlou at gmail.com and sending out some random messages. Is that what you're saying? I exactly. Anyone could do this. This rally is about saving Hong Kong. It wouldn't be the first time the boy from Brisbane has been targeted by China. And we're also speaking out today for Tibet and the Uyghur people. In 2019, Drew's pro-democracy rally at the University of Queensland was overrun by communist loyalists. He was denounced by Chinese state media and bombarded with death threats. Don't let us see you on the street, we will shoot you. Earlier this year, while campaigning in Sydney for a Senate seat, he again enraged supporters of the Chinese government. But Drew was charged for using offensive language. All right, mate, that's enough. There will be some people that watch this and think, oh, here we go, here's that serial pest at it again. He gets whatever he deserves. What do you say to them? Well, I'd say that they're absolute bastards because I'm a peaceful protester and if they've got more problems with me as a peaceful protester standing against genocide than they do with the Chinese government, which has a million people in concentration camps, then they're, they're morally sick people and they, have, they should have a long, hard look at themselves in the mirror. Well, they have people under investigation for quite, quite a long time. Drew's barrister Michael Polak believes it's easy to see he's been framed by China. And you have to look whose interest it is to shut Drew up. Because of the work he's doing, the Chinese state would use any means possible to keep him quiet. And it's something we've seen in the United Kingdom with activists on Hong Kong, Tibet, these kind of issues. I myself have received emails to every member of my chambers telling me to stop doing work in regards to Hong Kong. It looks like after his protest at Wimbledon, he's been watched, and then they've taken that perfect opportunity to get at him. If Drew is charged with communicating false information to make a bomb hoax, he could face seven years in a British prison. It's a frightening prospect that's taking its toll, but don't think for a second it's enough to scare him into silence. Over the past two weeks, I had to go to the emergency room at, at the hospital in London. The stress and the pressure has just been destroying my health. 
I, I can see it. You do seem like this one's really got you. Oh, this one really got me. It's hard, Tom. This only started because the Chinese government cannot accept dissent whatsoever. They see me as a threat to the extent that they actually have to try and weaponize the British legal system against me. As long as there is breath in my body, blood coursing through my veins, I will continue speaking against the Chinese government. They've turned me into a hardened opponent for life. For life. Hello, I'm Tom Steinford. Thanks for watching 60 Minutes Australia. Subscribe to our channel now for brand new stories and exclusive clips every week. And don't miss out on our Extra Minutes segments and full episodes of 60 Minutes on 9now.com.au as well as the 9now app.